The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus answered the Jews, My father is at work until now, so I am at work. For this reason, they tried all the more to kill him, because he not only broke the Sabbath, but he also called God his own father, making himself equal to God. Jesus answered and said to them, Amen, amen, I say to you, the son, the son cannot do anything on his own, but only what he sees the Father doing. For what he does, the Son will do also. The Father loves the Son and shows him everything that he himself does, and he will show him greater works than these, so that you may be amazed. For just as the Father raises the dead and gives life, so also does the Son give life to whomever he wishes. Nor does the Father judge anyone, but he has given all judgment to the Son, so that all may honor the Son just as they honor the Father. Whoever does not honor the Son does not honor the Father who sent him. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever hears my word and believes in the one who sent me, has eternal life and will not come to condemnation, but has passed from death to life. Amen, amen, I say to you, the hour is coming and is now here when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God and those who hear will live. For just as the Father has life in himself, so also he gave to the Son the possession of life in himself. And he gave him power to exercise judgment because he is the Son of Man. Do not be amazed at this, because the hour is coming in which all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and will come out, those who have done good deeds to the resurrection of life, but those who have done wicked deeds to the resurrection of condemnation. I cannot do anything on my own. I judge as I hear, and my judgment is just, because I do not seek my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise we come into this part of Lent now, uh, when we go through these passages of John where Jesus is trying to help us understand the relationship between Jesus and the Father. Uh, it's a complicated one and it took 400 years for the church to articulate it in what we have now as the, as the Nicene Creed. But uh, be that as it may, whatever complicated theological ideas we might wrestle with in our mind, we know God because we know Jesus. And the whole point, of course, of Lent and reflecting as we did yesterday on our baptism is to come to know the Lord. And the, the essential question we can ask ourselves always is how well do we know Jesus? Not just facts about Jesus, but much like how do we know another person in relationship? That What is our relationship with Jesus? Is it deep enough? Is it strong enough? Jesus reminds us of his relationship with his father. And, he, and it, this reading kind of flips back and forth when you think of a father who has a business or does something, he wants to share everything with the son. And it's uh, one of these passing on the, the, uh, the um, responsibility and teaching and all of those things that parenting does for a child. Uh, there's nothing hopefully left out that uh, uh, everything by, by the time uh, a parent is reaching the end of their lives, they hopefully they can say, well, I've handed on everything I can hand on. Um, but of course, uh, in the relationship between Jesus and, and the Father is eternal. Eternal from the beginning, eternal peromnia uh, secula seculorum, as we used to say, for an eternity of eternities. Um, that that relationship continues. But um, 
what challenges us in Jesus' um, uh, understanding of his relationship is one that uh, I uh, was thinking of the quote of uh, John Kennedy, who may have been quoting someone else, that God's work must truly be our own, that our relationship with God is cemented, is strengthened, insofar as we take upon ourselves those God-like characteristics. We're made in his image already, so we have that beginning. But uh, are we so firmly made in his image that we continue his work? That God's work must truly be our own. Jesus certainly um, uh, made that identity with himself very clear. We can only go so far because we're not God, but we are God-like. And so the challenge will always remain in our lives as well. God's work must truly be our own. We have not come to do our own will, but the will of the Father. Are all of those ideas cemented in our mind? And as we spend this Lent deepening our relationship with God, may it affect the way we live our lives, our priorities, our desires, and our willingness to give and to sacrifice and to love as God loves.